So today we're back in Beam and G Drive with Flood Escape on a brand new map by Spieler that is purpose built for the Flood mod. And folks, it is a snowy mountain and it is absolutely difficult. So we're going to try it with many different cars, including cars that I'm not necessarily comfortable with. And stay tuned until the end because we have a pigeon round and the results might surprise you. So hit the thumbs up button and let's jump in. All right, so we're ready to go here on the Flood Escape mountain. And folks, it's going to be a challenging one. We're going to start here on normal speed and I'm gonna be using a car that I'm not necessarily comfortable with this is the bolide rally car <laughs> so yeah good luck to me all right we're ready to go three two one go all right flood is moving uh, I don't know when it's actually gonna appear behind me I probably shouldn't look behind me that much because this is already a, uh, a little bit of a tough vehicle uh, to handle uh, stepping out of my comfort zone. I feel like a lot of people are like, man, you always use like the same vehicles and oh my goodness. This is what happens when I step out of my comfort zone. Actually, we just corrected ourselves. Uh, I might have broke something. The road went off to the right, but we're on a, uh, I guess there's like little shortcuts, but it is icy. So super slick. Hold on, look back. Uh, I don't, well, I don't see it actually. Maybe we'll actually complete the first run. Now, this isn't as big as the Flood Escape Crater that I commissioned from Spieler. I wanted something a, a little bit different. I like the aspect of having the mountain. Uh, oh my goodness, okay, it is right below us. Come on, buddy. Okay, just hold on to the bolide here. Uh, but we, yeah, we're gonna gradually go up in speed if we're successful, uh, if we don't drop off into a pothole. Uh, but I wanna just do me versus the flood. A lot of times I'll try to do the traffic and, you know, it gets a little cheap. I think you guys wanna see just a straight speed run here, uh, which there's not really much speed going on here. I'm just kinda tiptoeing around. Uh, we are in front of it, but it's not in front of it by much. Uh, you can see the uh, the water line is going up, and I'm pretty sure some technical sections. I did look at the map. I haven't actually, like, driven it yet. Uh, so I'm sure there's some slick spots up here. Plus, there's two versions of the map. There's one that's during a blizzard where you really can't see, and I think all the roads are wet and icy. Uh, they're a little slick here, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some, like, big ice patches. Oh, yeah, look at the speed we're getting here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, probably brakes. Uh, it, wait, where is the top of this thing? Uh, it's not as big of a map. Well, I mean, it's still pretty tall. <laughs> All right, here we go. Up. Oh, stay in the middle lane here. Get some gas. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't slide. Don't slide. Don't slide. Don't slide. Lock it up. Okay, on, back the other way. Oh, we're going to lose a lot of... Oh, my goodness. It's moving fast. Okay. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. This is only normal. Like, it only gets worse from here. Okay, can we get the dub on the first one? I mean, at least I didn't go easy mode. I think I did that last time uh, when we first got the map. There's also a challenge board on this map where you've got a couple like challenges with uh, gravity and different vehicles. And oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, that's slick. I wonder if I. Oh, I bet you could stay on that downside. Oh my goodness. I uh, got sideways there. I see a ramp. As tempting as the ramp is, I don't think the ramp equals good. We're about to go up the ramp. Oh, never mind. I somehow missed the ramp. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, those are big potholes. That's not even a pothole. That's a sinkhole with rocks in the bottom of it. Okay. Up. Oh, it's right below us here. Okay. Do not slide off here. That is... Okay. Dodge the slick patches. Uh, stay inside, outside, inside, outside. Uh, turn. Oh, it's going to be close. It's flattening. Oh, do I... I almost cut there. There's a little uh, thing that goes up. I bet you if I had like a really good like D-series, probably could make that like a hairpin here. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, this feels good. You know, it's been a while. I've been playing a lot on the Flood Crater. And it's like, all right, I know the map. It's kind of exciting to have something new here. And, oh, this is all slick. Why? Why would you do this? Okay. Oh, oh. Wait, is this the end? Hold on. We've made it on the first attempt. Okay, we're on normal mode. Let's zoom out real quick. How close was it? I mean, it's close. It's like right there. Uh, If I would have spun out... Uh, one more time, I think it would have been game over. So now that we know the speed, we well, I don't really know the map. Uh, I think we can increase this. We, we go up quite a bit here. Uh, I think we're going to do one more round with this, and then I think we're going to look at the challenge board too. Okay, so normal has been checked off the list. I think we skip intermediate. I think we go to the 2.25, so that is hard mode here. By the way, the challenge board is over on this side. Um, if you guys want to see any of these in future videos, comment which one you want to see. We've got night, moon gravity. You know, I don't think we've ever done a flood with, like, changing the gravity. And then there's the ultimate one, which is number seven. Any vehicle on extreme. I haven't even seen what the extreme looks like. Well, Spieler, why did you not make it the impossible? 
Is it because it's literally impossible? I don't know. I wonder if we can find a vehicle that's capable of going against that. All right, so let me adjust the speed, and we're going to be doing uh, the hard difficulty. All right, speed has been adjusted. I like that this is a quick run. Uh, the Flood Escape Crater, like I said, it was big, and it was really hard to do complete runs in there. I feel like this is a little bit more uh, bite-sized, uh, a little bit more intense, I would say. All right, so this Flood is going. Um, do we want to take that shortcut again? I think we can do it. Let's just gun through it. Since we know it ends up on the other side, start to break a little bit because you don't want to slide over the road. Oh, ho, ho, you know what? This isn't such a bad vehicle. Sometimes you just got to you gotta get out of your comfort zone with vehicles. And I don't think anybody's comfortable in a bolide. All right, here we go. That flood is, oh, it's going, but it's hard to gauge how fast it's moving right now. Uh, I don't want to sit there and just stare at it. I want to, no! Okay, hold on, land land i don't think i did damage to wheels uh okay turn it around on oh, and the wheels pointed straight my goodness we got away with one there oh my goodness it's right here though okay it's definitely fast okay uh this is gonna be right on the edge all right up 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 oh I, i'm gonna have to give this another run uh if i flood here yeah i'm gonna flood Okay, so there is now officially no room for mistakes. Okay, we are going. Uh, we're going to give this another attempt. I feel like I can do this. Uh, you just have to have, to have a mistake-free run here. Uh, you might be able to get away with like a spin, maybe a half spin, but flipping over like I did, that is a definite no. And we'll go through here a little bit faster. I haven't even seen what the road looks like on the other side. I feel like it's probably too slow. There we go. Oh, that was nice. Okay, we got through there pretty quick. I'm liking this. It's nice because it's actually pretty speedy, uh, but you never know like when the car is just going to lose traction because of the ice, and uh, you're just going to slide right off. Uh, no guardrails, uh, which it's perfectly fine having no guardrails on this map. Uh, I used to complain. I almost just did the same thing I just did earlier. Uh, I used to complain at Spieler. I was like, Spieler, we need guardrails on some of these maps. Uh, but yeah, no, this one's perfect. Okay, so we had one little slowdown back there. Let's hope that doesn't kill the run. Uh, goosing it here a little bit. Okay. Come on. You know, this thing is doing pretty good. I mean, it is a rally uh, spec bolide. I don't think if it was, if I was in the normal, like, street version, I'd be dead by now. Uh, this one actually has a, a decent amount of grip here on the snow. All right. Do we go up that chute to avoid the hairpin? Oh, dude, that's catching. All right, we got to go. Go, 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 go. Wide open here. Avoid the potholes. I'm going to have to let off a little bit because I feel like it tightens up. I don't want to fly off the side of the mountain. Uh, I think I'm going to have to use that chute up here. Oh, we might die right here. Oh, this is going to be freaking close. All right. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. Man, it is a jump in difficulty there. I mean, it literally is a jump in difficulty. I thought I could skip over one. I might have been wrong there. I wonder if I get to choose. Well, I mean, what vehicle? Maybe an off-road scintilla would be good. Uh, the shoot part I was talking about. Wow, we weren't even close to it. I thought we were right there. Is this thing. I think we can go up this. You have to hook pretty hard. But I think avoiding this hairpin section is going to save you time on this run. Now, here's the question. I might have to jump back into my comfort zone because I feel like I'm just not going to get it done in this car. Uh, it's done well, and we're going to do a challenge, but I want to see if I can complete it on this difficulty. Uh, do we do something a little bit more comfortable with? I mean, the VVOS. Really big fan of the VVOS here. Uh, I feel like might not be quite as fast in a straight line, but the handling, it is beautiful all right so we're gonna try a run here three two one go flood is enabled let's hope we got the grip here you know maybe the bolide was the one we're supposed to go with i don't know it's hard to go wrong with the v loss because it's a little bit more controllable but i don't know if i'm gonna quite have i mean it's got insane acceleration uh let's just hope we can get through this all right here we go uh i don't feel like i'm carrying quite as much speed but Oh, there was a rock there, two wheel in it. No, man, the pressure is real on this one. Okay, going for another run here. Floods enabled. Okay, I feel like it's just gonna be Mistake City from here on out. Like I've I've completed it once, and now it's just pressure. Uh, if you guys had the ultimate vehicle to run this with, say at this current speed, what would y'all choose? I mean, this is kind of one of my favorite ones. 
Uh, okay, there are rocks on the right side, so don't hit those and the left side. I mean, the left ones are a little bit more visible, but I feel like some of the bushes, there's definitely stuff in them. So you don't want to hit those. All right, come on, turn, turn, turn. And I don't, I kind of feel like I'm not as fast in this as I was in the bowl. I could be wrong. Maybe I am fast. Uh, but man, I've got that weird feeling that like I'm not going as fast right now. I mean, okay, yeah, only time will tell here. Okay, let's just try not to, just focus. Don't worry about how fast you're going. Just focus on the road and we'll see if the speed is going to make a difference here. Okay, come on, baby. Let's go. Uh, all right, hook it a little bit. Gas, gas, gas. It, I mean, it's close. It looks like it's almost here. I swear it's in the same spot as it was last time. Okay. Uh, just check yourself. I don't know if I can make this corner. I'm definitely not doing it wide open. I'm going to throw it sideways a little bit. Gas. Uh, come on. Uh, I needed the hook. Probably should go into manual gears for this. Uh, I need to be able to actually get a little bit of wheel spin on some of these corners. Oh, it is so oh, man, It's right there. It is right. There. Oh, we're screwed. There's no way. There's no way. No way we're making it in this. Even if I had manual gears to be able to, like, uh, get a little bit of wheel spin off the corners, I don't think it's doing it in this. Hmm. All right. You know, this is a thing. Maybe, maybe Scintilla. Okay, let's hope this one can get it done. We are going. I mean, it's definitely got the acceleration, but it's more like the handling of this thing. Uh, I don't like it as much as I like the V-Boss. I, I must say, though, that was a nice little drift there. Let's see how it gets through the cut here. Uh, all right, I'm gonna plow right through this. Uh, can I get it to turn a little bit? Turn, turn. Uh, okay, we didn't hook rocks that time. We're good. Okay, up through here. Oh, buddy. Oh, no, <laughs> stupid pile of dookie. <laughs> oh, man. Why was the bolide the one that was going well? Yeah, it is so weird that that has been almost the most comfortable vehicle when it really wasn't like it shouldn't be uh the thing was a beast all right keep going i would say maybe using like one of the race car versions but I, it's the off-road sections that they're gonna die in like it's just it needs a little bit more suspension a little bit bigger tire uh, a little bit more of a purpose-built tire i would say okay oh no no oh, oh i do find this car it understeers quite a bit which you would feel like it's a supercar that it would you know point a little bit better uh yeah because like it's slidey oh yep exactly what i was just talking about there folks i think the only way we're doing this is in the bolide the vehicle that i in theory should have been most uncomfortable with and i've never really like i like it i've never been good at driving it but I must say, that's the vehicle. All right, we're gonna give this one more attempt here in the bolide. It is like one of those things I'm just gonna have to learn the map and get a little bit more comfortable with it. Learn like the quirks and features of said map. Uh, but man, Spieler hit it out of the uh, the park here with this. This is a fun, it's fun just to drive on. Like it's a fun set of roads. Uh, so let's just hope that we can do it this time. Come on, baby. Uh, speeding through. Oh, getting a little sideways. Okay, got to try to keep some momentum up through here. Okay, up, 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 up. Yeah, no, you've got to be. Oh, hold on. No, we're definitely not doing it. We're not doing it in this run. One more reset. Okay, just wide open. You're going to have to let off at the end of this. Okay, there it goes. The back end eventually just starts to come around in this uh, car. Okay, there we go. We just can't have it come all the way around because we don't have time for 180s, 360s, nothing like that. Uh, we got to keep this run moving. Oh, yeah. Yep, this thing, it cuts. It's sideways, but it, it'll actually point in the right direction on these uh, roads. Uh, it's actually kind of satisfying to drive. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to attempt this with a wheel. I need to do another wheel cam video one day. Oh, it's going to under... Nope, oh, okay. It cut right there at the last moment. I feel like I'm behind. Uh, I feel like this run just isn't as well put together. It's going to take a heck of a drive to get up this. What the? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I barely clipped that. Oh, and we're in the... I feel like what it is now is just so much pressure that I'm not going to be able to get a good run in. So I feel like we're going to have to uh, to adjust and go to the challenge board here. Yeah, that was a big 360. I'm going to be flooded out right here. Yep, exactly where I expected to see it. It's weird because it always seems to appear right in the same spot. So, what do you guys think? Uh, I feel like normal, which, I mean, should in theory be easy, but it's going to take a little bit of practice on this. But I do want to come back to this in the high, high speed difficulties. 
So if we look at our challenge board here, we got the T-Series on normal. I, I feel like that would be pretty easy. There is a pigeon. Now, Speeler's not, he didn't say which pigeon to use. You know, I, I feel like we could knock that one out. And then there's moon gravity on very easy. I, that sounds miserable. I vote we do the pigeon. The pigeon on easy, I feel like would be fun. Now, like I said, doesn't say what pigeon. I don't know if he means default pigeon or can I use a race one? I guess in the spirit, since it doesn't say exactly what it is, we're going to use the default pigeon. I feel like this is going to be miserable. Like, can we even cut? All right. What do you guys think? Is this going to be our second successful attempt? I'm going. Oh my goodness. It's miserable. You know, the thing is though, if we're using this, there's no way we could skip. I can't cut through the course. I don't even know if this thing will get uphill in certain spots. Like, what is going... Spieler, did you test this? I hope he tested... I mean, he said he tested everything, which I believe Spieler. Spieler's an uh, honest individual. I just... I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know if we're doing good. Like, how do you even gauge here? Because you can't really see the flood at first. You're not moving fast at all. Because you're in a pigeon, which everybody loves a pigeon. Yeah, there's no way taking those snow cuts. Like, that. you just wouldn't make it through. Uh, I feel like it would just instantly slow down. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you do this to me, you stupid pile of... Well, hold on. Even going off-road there, that wasn't bad. Maybe I should have tried the snow cuts. Okay, just wide open here. This is miserable. This is took what should be like... I think it's roughly maybe four to five minutes to get up to the top of this. This is going to take like ten. Like, we are just... We're not getting it right now. But we might be able to mark one off the challenge board, so... If we got to mark the pigeon first, I don't know about this. I'm looking down and seeing how close this is getting, and I'm wondering how. Like, how does this work? All right, well, let's keep it wide open here. This is fine. I definitely think on this one, manual gears, which I've started this run without it. This thing bogs down. It doesn't, like, know when to shift down to catch some, like, RPM and speed and get some acceleration. Like, here, let's go second gear. Let it wind up this hill, and there's another gear there. Yeah, we're behind. There's no way. This is just not going to happen here. Oh, oh. I like how I managed to get some sort of, like, wheel spin there. Kind of weird. Um, all right, keep going. Oh, my goodness. Dude, no. There's no way. There's no way. All right, we need to make one more run with that. There it goes. One more run with this one, except for I'm going to use manual gears. I feel like that's what's killing my momentum in this thing. I mean, it's a pigeon. There's not much momentum to start with, but this is, it's really painful. Like, okay, yeah, definitely utilizing second gear more is helping. All right, we finally bumped off the uh, limiter. But yeah, look at the, it's like a car that you lose so much speed when you change gear, especially going uphill. Okay, keep it in second gear here. Might even could have bumped it in the first there. Do we take the snow cut? Let's try the snow cut real quick. Surprisingly, I'm not losing the speed I thought I would th through this. This is going to make up a tremendous amount of time. Okay, I'm back in this. I feel like this might be possible. It's going to be painful. But, you know, I think a lot of my viewers do enjoy my pain and suffering. So, uh, let's go for it here. Oh, yeah, we're hustling. We're definitely a lot further ahead of it this time. Like, it's manual gears is making the world of difference. At and that shortcut we were able to take... I'm just really surprised the pigeon doesn't lose the speed like I thought it would. And I'm almost wondering, I, I need to message him. It's like, did you mean default pigeon? But I'm assuming that's what we're talking about. Oh, yep. Three wielded again there. We, yep. Man, this is a blast. I love driving a vehicle that you're not sure if you can actually take a corner with without it tipping over. Now, I did have to go over with Spieler. And if you guys download this map when it releases, oh my goodness, that's coming right up the hill. Uh, we had some difficulty with some speeds. Uh, we're doing some testing to make sure. I think it was an issue on my end that my speeds weren't quite matching up with the challenge board or even just the normal board. I believe we got it figured out. So there is a chance that my speeds are slightly off. I'm going to laugh if, like they're going faster than they were on Spieler's end. Would that mean that I'm extra cool? I'm probably not. Well, isn't that just the scariest thing ever? Yep, it's right down below us. I, I feel like I haven't even lost really any momentum here. And I don't think I'm going to make it. I mean, it is called a challenge board because it's supposed to be challenging. But, I mean, I don't think it's impossible. Oh, no. We're about, we're going to lose here. Uh, even if I go to second gear here, I think it's going to lose too much speed between the gears. I might downshift. Is that going to be bad? All right, downshift there. 
Eh, well, that actually might have given me a little bit of a boost. I don't think I make it past the hairpin, though. The hairpin's such a sharp, and then it's uphill that I'm trying to figure out, like, I feel like our speeds might be off here. Oh, what about the ice? Oh, we might not make it to the ice. Oh, and it's a good climb, though. Ooh, <laughs> dude. Why is, like, one of the most thrilling chases here, the, the thrilling flood escapes, is with the pigeon? All right, second gear. Oh, uh, that gave us a boost. We should take the ramp. The ramp is our only salvation here, I think. Oh, man. I don't wonder if the pigeon was like, oh, see, right there, that dip. Question is, are we allowed to use any? It just says pigeon, right? It. I mean, everybody else is reading it as pigeon. I do have a pigeon with jets on it. I feel like that's a little bit overkill, but maybe base game pigeons? The rock dub? I mean, the race. Let's go with the race. I'm just going to go with this one. I feel like it might be cheating. Are these slicks on here? Oh, uh, this might just be pain and suffering. All right, here we go. Oh, dude, the race is so much better. This is cheating. There's no way this isn't cheating. Like, I, I think we're going to do it. As long as we don't make any big mistakes. I guess once you think about it, the whole fact that we're on slicks is not good. So maybe that's going to make up for the whole fact that we have much more speed and a little bit more stability with the floor tire as opposed to the three. Oh, my goodness. Woo. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Okay. This thing does not like going off. I mean, slick tires, it makes sense. So the shoot, I think, is out of the question when it comes to the top. But my goodness, it's sporty. It feels pretty good on this. Oh, so why am I going off the road? I mean, if it's not turning, if it's understeering, maybe consider clipping off road. Uh, it'll definitely turn really quick. Uh, maybe not in the way you want it to. Oh, dude, we're making really good. Like, look how far down the flood is. This is cheating. I mean, I like to cheat sometimes, so I I'm going to allow it right now. I just want to have a another run here. I don't know, it does flatten out a little bit here and the flood definitely catches uh, the resection coming up here when you start passing by like the buildings. But this is legit fun. Like even in this pigeon, like it's a fun run. And you know, if you like drop a tire off road that this thing is gonna just whip sideways. All right, here we go up over, where's the pot? Oh, there's a pothole. Okay, uh, for some reason I thought it was on the right side. It is on the left side here. I'm starting to learn this section. Like, there's going to be a point in time where I'm, I know the map completely and it's going to be like glorious. And I think that's when we could probably really kick up the difficulty that once I, uh, I find a vehicle, I'm like a hundred percent confident in, uh, cause I really do want to do the hard, uh, the extreme difficulties. Maybe I impossible. Well, it's supposed to be impossible. I would love to see somebody like if you're a Patreon, a Spieler, uh, if you download this map, which eventually I think the map will come out, uh, like a normal version of it. Uh, but yeah, I would love to see somebody do an extreme run with this. Like, what car do you even use? That is a good question. All right, focus on the road here. We're going to go a little bit sideways. This is good. This is so good. Okay, this might suck. Hold on. Here we go. How sideways is it going to get up this? Uh, I'm not even, I'm barely accelerating. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, that's not comfortable. All right, here we come up to this. Dude, look how far ahead of it. I mean, to be fair, it's just a big difference between this and normal pigeon. And I'm pretty sure this was meant for a normal pitch. And even though that was pretty tough. Like, I thought I was keeping good speed. Okay. I almost hopped over that and hopped off. Okay. Icy roads are coming up. This might be a equalizer here. Oh, oh just tiptoe. Remember, it's going to be left, right, left, right, left, right. I don't know if that's in the right order, but uh, just it alternates. I know that. Okay. Do we attempt to shoot? I'm going to attempt it. No, okay. Don't attempt to shoot. Dude, that is what... Touching the snow is like with slicks. Uh oh, Han, this is this might be a little slick here. Okay, on edge through. Okay, kick it sideways. Oh, up, 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 up. I'm enjoying this run so far. It's fun. Not quite as close as far as the flood speed. I feel like I could kick up the speed with this particular pigeon. Uh, all right, watch out for these. Oh, this sucks. Okay, this is not fun anymore. You can barely hit the gas through this. <laughs> There we go. Run is complete. I think Spieler, this is like my reward. He just wants me to like jump off a ramp, off a mountain. So here we go. Oh my goodness. We are really far ahead of that. Uh, that was good. And boom. We just float down to a watery grave. So we got possibilities with this. Let me know what you guys think. There's a view of the pigeon button. We'll see you guys next time.